Hey guys, welcome to another episode of R3. It's R3 episode 43, Radio Ridley Radio, and you're joined by me, Michael Ridley, the host of your favorite show. You already know what time it is. No, you don't. It's 2.30 p.m. CST in the great town of Austin, Texas, and I'm the frog man. Ooh, I'm the frog man. Doing everything that I can, Frogman. Chilling on my lily pad, and everybody's so mad, but I'm fine. I'm living fine. The little frog man sipping on his frog wine. I'm doing all right. There was a fly. <laughs> I had to get a little fly. <laughs> a third lid on my eye. I'm the frog man. <laughs> I feel like, uh, what does frog man do? Frog man sit on lily pad. Frog man smokes his pipe, stares into the night stars, uh, the stars at night. They're so big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas. Frog man, he ribbits. He ribbits alone. Drinking Budweiser with the boys at the lagoon. Just just frogging out with the boys. Amphibious hangs. You know how it is. Hella amphibious. Gotta stay wet. But we're not swimming. We're just we're just keeping it a little moist. Cause I'm the frog man. Froggy. Feeling froggy. Feeling froggy might leap. Ribbit. Might fuck around and might fuck around and hippity hoppity, hoppity hippity. I'm the frog man. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy, bro. We all just sometimes you might you might just be a frog, you know. Think about it. You were a little ta everybody was everybody was a little egg, you know. We all start off as an egg and a tadpole. Some something about you know. The circle of life and shit. We we were always like your mom was holding the egg and your dad had the tadpoles and you, I, I wonder how far away we are from being frogs, you know? Because if you think I always I always thought it was I always thought it was cool how frogs are just sperm that grew legs and started eating. <laughs> That's crazy to me. That's crazy. So like, there's an egg, right? And then the frog, the frog eggs get inseminated, and then. It just takes the shape of the sperm, and then the sperms end up growing legs. That's crazy to me. Bro, you know how many kids I would have if that's how we had kids? <laughs> Imagine, you know the toilet at my day job would just be full of my kids. <laughs> just jorking at work. Hey, what what's all these frogs going? There's a bunch of frogs in the fucking men's employee bathroom. What's this about? Does anybody know? Is <laughs> They got us all in, we're all in the office, and the, the general manager's like, all right, somebody's been masturbating at work. There's a, uh, the men's employee restroom is full of frogs. Everybody's just looking at me. I'm the frog man. You're, you're the only one. <laughs> I'm the, the frog. only frog. I'm the only <laughs> frog at work. I'm like, Rupert. <laughs> so, uh, Michael, you know anything about this frog uh, situation in the men's employee bathroom? Rupert. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, dude? Why would you think that was me, dude? Is it because I'm the only frog that works here? So you're assuming that I was the one masturbating in the bathroom because no, no, it's no, full no, of frogs. That's not what we're <laughs> no, 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 we're not getting that. We just, we were just wondering if it was you. I'm like, ah, uh, you'd know if it was me, Ribbit. <laughs> I'm obviously the only fucking frog at work. <laughs> I'm the frog man with my little frog penis in my frog hand. <laughs> Jerking off at work, I'm the frog man. What does frog man drive? Frog man drives like an old Volvo. He drives like an old Volvo 240 wagon. It's fucking <laughs> refuse. He's a, he's a he uh, he plays banjo in his uh, in a band. He uh, he lives in a mushroom. He lives in a three bedroom three bedroom two bathroom mushroom down the street. Do you remember uh, Frog and Toad the book? Yeah yeah yeah. That's We're, that's a, us dude. It's us. I'm frog. They always, uh, I remember they always like rode. I remember there's a picture of them. They ride in tandem bikes. Look, except for a book, it's instead of a it's book, it's me with a mic and recording stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I would love that. I would love if somebody just like 
drew me and Taylor in the style of Frog and Toad from the books. That would be so funny. But like me with a mic and then Taylor with also like a table. <laughs> radio Froggy Radio. You already know. You, I'm coming straight to you from the bayou, baby. Oh, this is us for sure, dude. That's us for sure. Yeah, I was just going to say the tandem bicycle is a classic. <laughs> it's crazy that like uh, me and my wife, we have like a full Animal Crossing Lego village. In our house, and that's like the millennial equivalent of uh, frog statues in the crib. You remember when Meemaw mm-hmm. used to have the frog <laughs> statues? <laughs> I love, dude, my grandma had a full frog band. She had a frog band. It was like you hooked it up, you put an aux cord in it, and it would sing the music. And it had like a drummer and a bassist and a guitarist, and they were a little frog, frog band. It was like a plastic stand thing. Yeah, it was that thing right there. Frog musicians for twenty five dollars right there on twenty five fifty on eBay. The top. Oh. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Yeah, it was like it was something like that. But they were they were full like plastic little animatronic. Think of like a Chuck E. Cheese band that you could put in your house, but it was frogs. And I ripped all their heads off. I broke it. I destroyed it. I don't know why I did that. Frog band that plays music. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, there they are. Was that it? That was them. No way. The Green Machine Frog Band. How did we find it? <laughs> it is crazy that what that. So yeah, so you hook it up to an audio input or something, and uh, you put like an aux cable or something. You hook it up to your stereo. I remember it sat on top of your stereo, and it would sing like the Bee Gees or whatever. Damn, that's held value. Look at that, thirty-seven. Thirty-seven dollars. Yeah, it's the Green fun. Machine Vintage nineteen eighty-nine Green Machine Band, one hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Frog Whoa. Band. It was a toy. It was sick. My grandma had one. Yeah, that's exact. That is exactly it. That's crazy that I, that you were able to find that. That was a mythical Google right there, dude. Good job. Frog band. Yeah, I don't know why that I was thinking about that. I don't know why. why are you I was, the frog man? I don't know why like, I was thinking about. We're all dying to know why you're the frog man. Why am I the frog man? I feel like everybody's got you know. Everybody has like their animal equivalent. And if I'm going to be a comedian with an animal equivalent, mine will be the frog. Virtuous. Wise. I, I look like I would give you a quest. <laughs> Don't I look like that? Look, look, look. And when I, you know, when I, when I, when I, when I compress my neck, I kind of look frog-like. I kind of look like Gullah Gullah Island in the face. You know what I'm saying? I kind of <laughs> look like the Gullah Gullah Island frog. And it's, it's funny, too, because he's yellow and I'm yellow. You know, I'm the I'm the Gullah Gullah Island frog. That's what I look like. <laughs> Gullah Gullah <laughs> Island. I'm the frog man. <laughs> I look just like him. I try to tell you, dog. That's me. Told you I'm the frog man, baby. Dude, that's crazy. Hey, sometimes, you know, you don't choose the frog life. You know, it's bestowed upon you. This is you. I was knighted. I was knighted in the Hall of Amphibians. I was knighted. It's me, dude. Hell yeah, that's me. All the neck pimples and shit. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> the neck bumps. Oh yeah, that's me. Gullah Gullah Island. I just remember Gullah Gullah Island was just like a bunch of black people on an island with a giant frog. And the frog was always getting into something. I can't remember what that show was about. I just remember there being lots of black people on the island. <laughs> Gullah Gullah Epstein's Island. <laughs> just like an Epstein and Gullah Gullah. The frog. Man, you know, I was thinking I was thinking about out of the box too. You remember out of oh, the box? Yeah. Out of the box. Cha, cha. Out of the box. Cha, cha. My mom never let us keep cardboard. That man. imagination. Yeah. <laughs> man, I just wanted to build a house out of cardboard. I still think about that to this day. Just a fucking I, I mean, with the way that this housing market is, <laughs> we might be building our house out of cardboard, you know? <laughs> God damn. I got a one bedroom, two. I got a one bedroom, one bath, U-Haul moving box, seven hundred dollars a month, brand new construction. Features a kitchen island. Look at this kitchen island. It's made out of soda caps. Look at this drum set. It's made. We. Have, it comes with the drum set. Yeah, the drum set's made out of rubber bands and soda caps. And um, a frog band. This is just such a crafty little house. It's just a crafty little crib. 
and you can always build onto it. You know, it's the great. It has a it's perfect foundation to be. It's just this property's begging to be built on. This property is begging for a twelve case of soda box right on top. Get you a little chimney. Get you a little little Coca Cola chimney. Make a futon. Make a futon out of a van's shoebox. You know, this is like standard home buying in twenty twenty five. We're we're coming on to the next year. We you know it's an election year, so hopefully you know, dependent upon the election, will it'll determine whether you're sleeping in a cardboard box or you get to buy a house. But here's the thing, folks: living in a cardboard box doesn't have to sound as bad as it does. It can be nice. You know, you remember when they tried to convince us that three hundred square feet. On a on a wagon trailer is a house. The tiny house movement. Yeah, remember when they tried to like? Remember when like they they the economy is just getting worse, more worse and worse. So they're slowly like trying to redefine the definition of a home. They're like, yeah, it, it was a shipping container. It's a shipping container. Sounds like a trailer with extra steps. No, it's a shipping container, and we're gonna put the shitty vinyl flooring in it. And we're going to put a sliding door on the side. And then we're going to CGI, like, a mountainside. So, like, you can put it anywhere. I'm like, I don't want to live in a shipping container in the Appalachian Mountains. I don't, I don't, that's not, you can get Starlink internet. And then you can cook. Your kitchen, your bedroom is right above your kitchen, open air. So every time you cook, your bed is going to smell like whatever you just cooked. Isn't that, isn't that sound nice? Isn't that, isn't that what you want? No, I want a house like my parents had. I want like a fucking, I want a jacuzzi in my master bedroom. I want a jacuzzi in my master bath. My par- my The first house my parents built in 99, they had a fucking, they had one of those showers, those standing glass showers. And then there was a tub with jets. Dude, that was, I feel like everyone's parents had, had that. Everyone... It's like a status. Symbol. All the parents, oh yeah, all the parents of the '90s who had their shit together, they had the the, the jacuzzi master bath, and you'd go sneak up there when your parents were gone, and you'd cooze it up. You were the man of the house, you know. One day these bubbles will be mine. Yeah, and then your parents sold it. God, we. That's the crazy thing about my childhood is like having your shit together. It was so fleeting, like. We would be living in some nice shit, and the next, the, I remember the house I moved into right after that. Like when my parents got divorced, they sold that house, and then my, me and my mom moved in. We moved into a single level, single level like rancher style house, and the people who lived there had fleas, and they did not exterminate before they fucking moved out. So for the first six months of living there, your boy was just covered in bug bites. God, dude, Ooh. the flea house sucked. Dirty whites. We moved in. Some dirty whites had lived in there. That shit was crazy to me. There was like a bug problem too. There was always bugs in the house. I never, I never, um, I never lived somewhere where I saw so many bugs in the house all the time. Ew. Yeah. And then the, where did we move after that? Perfect for the frog man. Yeah, frog man. That would have been a great home for the frog man. Just, just flies and <laughs> and beetles. <laughs> That's crazy. Now you got me thinking about Frogman's like <laughs> life. I'm thinking of like yeah. the Frogman lore. What's wrong, honey? You barely touched your grubs. <laughs> Nothing. They just accused me of masturbating at the office today. <laughs> I don't know why they would. Yeah, somebody filled the men's restroom up with tadpoles, and they were they were asking me why there were so many frogs in the, in the men's restroom. Yeah, I have to talk to HR about it. It just kind of felt like I was being singled out. Honey, aren't you the only frog that works there? Hey, that's besides the point. You know, it's just the fact that they would even ask me. I think, you know, we have a healthy, we have a healthy reproductive life, don't we? You and I, you lay the eggs, I inseminate them, you know, they all grow up. What's wrong, honey? You barely touched your grubs. It's so funny, dude. Just... Just a drunk frog slamming the front door of a of a mushroom house. <laughs> Tired of your shit, bitch. <laughs> then he gets he gets in a 
he gets in a car that's uh that's just a shoe with wheels. He's all drunk. He's like driving a Timberland with like he's driving a roller skate to work all drunk. <laughs> He gets pulled over. It's the, the cop's a possum or some shit. The cop is like a raccoon or something. <laughs> Officer raccoon. You know how fast you were going? Yeah. Officer possum. <laughs> Officer possum. How are you? Uh, Officer possum. Uh, <laughs> highway patrol with the uh, Animal Kingdom Police Department. You understand how fast you were going back there, pal? He like burps and ribbits. He's like, ribbit. Uh, sorry. But, uh, you been drinking this evening, sir? Fucking big ass like frog guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you've been drinking tonight, sir? You know, like when you get a picture of a bullfrog in a lake at night and the flash goes off? <laughs> That's what it looks like. He's like, maybe, and then puts it in gear and then the <laughs> the roller skate takes off. <laughs> His throat thing inflates when he's when he's lying. He's yeah, he's just No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's like trying not to throw up in front of the cop. <laughs> Officer. Officer Possum with the Animal Kingdom Police Department. It's the R3 Podcast. Hey guys, do you ever think like, oh, I'm a little mischievous guy. I'm a little, I'm a little trickster. I'm a little goofy guy. I like to mess around. I like to pull little harmless pranks on people. I, I want to be funny, but I don't think I'm uh, that funny. I, I would like to, I would like to purchase something that would make me instantly the funniest guy in the room. Well, you're in luck because my homies over at DickLasers.com have created this amazing little laser pointer that shines the shape of several wieners, and it's so funny. You can shine it on your friends. You can shine it on strangers. Nothing. I feel like there's nothing funnier than um, walking into a bar and you see a guy chatting up a girl and he's really rizzing her up. And then you're just on the other side of the room just shining the silhouette of a little wiener on his chest. She notices it. He doesn't. And he's just confidently trying to uh, secure secure the cooch. And um, uh, it's it, – well, it's possible. That's possible. You can be that – you can be that little mischievous fucker out in public with – uh, a dick laser laser pointer they're so fun um here at radio ridley radio we are proud to announce uh, uh being sponsored by these guys and what i love about dick laser so much is that there are multiple cocks to choose from there are multiple wieners to choose from you got you got your standard jonathan all right you've got uh homie leaning to the left that's always fun you got a, a the semi chub is what i like to call it then we got a, a skinny boy skinny boy jones over here skinny boy jones is just you know your standard jonathan but a little bit skinnier you know for those uh for those uh pencil pencil dick boys out there we got a uh, we got the chode meister a uh, personal favorite of mine looks just like my penis by the way and um we got the front-facing flaccid, which is always fun to uh, shine on somebody's garage <laughs> while they're, you know, out in public. Guys, go over to DickLasers.com. Use promo code SWEATY for 10% off at checkout, and uh, that's how you'll know. That's how the, that's a, an amazing way to support us over here at R3 is go to DickLasers.com. Go and get you one of these Dick Laser pointers, and make sure you use promo code SWEATY for 10% off at checkout. We love you. You're listening to the R3 Podcast. I like to think of animals. I like to think of humanoid animals living as adults. I liked BoJack Horseman, and there's like a mini series on Instagram that's like that. I don't know. I like cute stuff like that. I like. I think. Uh, I think animated animals pretending to be humans pretty cute, man. I liked Over the Hedge. You ever seen Over the Hedge? Maybe. It's like a DreamWorks animated CGI movie. Yeah. It's where like they build a housing development over this hedge, like it's a like it's their it's their habitat or whatever. And then all of a sudden, a giant bush shows up and splits their fucking habitat in half. And then they crawl over the head. They go over the hedge, you know, like it's in the title of the movie. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's just like a bunch of fucking houses over there. So they just start going in the trash. They find chips, sodies. They're drinking chips and they're, they're eating chips and drinking sodies. And they're like, oh, this is great. You know, we got to come over here more often. And there's a turtle and the turtle's like, was the mayor and he was like i don't know if we should keep doing this guys this isn't safe it was giuliani <laughs> yeah he's a little a little a little tortoise mayor you know <laughs> i like that i like when a turtle's in an animated film i like when the turtle because he because his shell they, they always animate his shell like it's a hoodie or something you know he's always moving it around <laughs> like that he always done i like that i liked over the hedge dude but then they didn't you know, then the HOA finds out that they've been going in the trash. 
And then in, and then an exterminator comes, and he's like, then the turtle's like, see, I tried to warn you guys, we're gonna die or whatever. Anyways, I don't know how Over the Hedge ends, but it is one of my favorite movies. I can't <laughs> remember. Speaking of movies, man, we went to go see the damn Beetlejuice. I took I took the wife to go see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and I'm gonna tell you right now, dude, just go see it. God, it's so good. We saw it in 4DX. I did not know what 4DX meant. I thought it was like IMAX. No, bro, it's like a fucking 4D ride. Hour and 45 minutes straight, dude. We were in that bitch fucking, dude, the, the seats, seats move. move. The seats move, and it shoots water everywhere, dude. What? It's, as I told you, take, I told you, get high, take shoots care. Shoots water? Yeah. yeah. Like, there's one scene where, like, blood squirts, and then the blood squirts, and then, like, water falls from the ceiling and gets you wet. I turn. You have the option to turn the water off. When I looked down and I saw water off, I was like, what, do they have a water dispenser? That's crazy. Oh, no, this is a fucking 4D ride. Because the movie starts and then the seats start rising. I'm like, oh, fuck, what did I do? I was so pissed. I saw something like that at Orlando Studios with Terminator 2 it, one time. Yeah, it's like that, but for an hour and 45 straight, and it's, and it's Beetlejuice. Yeah. It was incredible. The seats started moving. I was like, god damn it. I was pissed. Because I was like, I don't know how violent this shit's going to be. You know what I mean? I don't know how it's programmed with the movie. I've seen those 4D movies where it just seems like I didn't even pay for a 4D movie. But not with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That shit was like a full, like, I was like, whoa. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is going on, dude? This is crazy. I was uh, I was thoroughly impressed with the way the movie was uh, programmed, too. Hold on, my fucking ears. Can't move too much. Yeah. All right, I can hear myself again. But yeah, the damn uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice was crazy, bro. It was so fucking funny, too. I laughed my ass off. I haven't... Man, I went to the movies. I went to the movies with Ian Fidance one time. We saw that... Uh, we saw that... We saw that new Ghostbusters... And I'm going to tell you something about Ian Finance, y'all. That guy is a liver of life. We were watching the movie. We're in the movie theaters, and all you, <laughs> you just hear everybody crunching on their popcorn. And then something cool happens in the something cool happens, happens in the movie. And Ian's like four seats down. All I hear is, oh, yes. He's, <laughs> he's like, all right. All right. Oh, yeah, let's go. He's like living his life. You hear him like, he's like clapping. He's like, He's audibly laughing in the theater. And I was like, man, I want to be like that more. Like seeing Ian that happy in the theaters. And I love Beetlejuice, dude. I fucking love Be Dude, I've watched Beetlejuice so many times as a kid, man. I loved Michael Keaton. Like, oh, here's a goddamn deal, all right? <laughs> Come on, honey. <laughs> Showtime. Fuck, I love me some Beetlejuice, boy. Love me some Beetlejuice. So I'm just... I don't know, dude. I'm in there laughing. I'm crying. I'm 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 audibly laughing, audibly crying. And it's funny too, cause like there's one point a bomb goes off in the movie and all the chairs just fucking <laughs> That sounds crazy. It is crazy. You gotta go see it, man. I wanna go see it again. I'm actually gonna take mushrooms and go see it again. That it's like that to me sounds like a good ass time. Take some mushrooms and go see Beetlejuice in 40. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. It is funny. Well, it's just funny. The movie is funny as fuck. Got Winona Ryder in that shit. And she has the same hairstyles when she was a teenager in Beetlejuice One. Mm -hmm. Jenna Jenna Ortega, the new Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family remake. Fucking who else is in that bitch? Michael Keaton. Yeah. yeah, Michael Keaton comes back as Beetlejuice. Everybody from the original. Except for uh, the dad. Except for uh, Lydia's dad or whatever. Winona Ryder's dad in that movie. In Beetlejuice 1, the dad, they, they couldn't have him in Beetlejuice 2 because he's a sex offender. Did you know this? No. He got, like, charged with, like, child porn and shit. But they still have him in the movie... But they find a clever way to include him in the movie. They just, just kill him. <laughs> like Chef. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I'm not here to spoil the movie. <clears throat> I would say go see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And if you have 4D, it's worth it. It was 45 bucks for two people, and we were laughing our asses off. I felt bad for Chelsea because we had to run out of the theater, and she was like, dude, I had to shit for like the last 20 minutes of the movie. 
and the chairs are just shaking around. My poor wife's like just holding her fucking shit. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? She was like, here, take this. She hands me her big ass Pepsi Zero and she fucking runs to the bathroom. She's I was like, are you okay? She was like, she runs out of the bathroom after she, she finishes. She goes, I had to shit, dude. And I was like, no, I'm sorry. I felt so bad because I was like grabbing her and shit and shaking her. I was like, Whenever the movie was about to do some crazy shit, I'd like grab onto her like, oh, hold tight. You know what I mean? I don't know. We were on a date. I do shit like that when we're on. I do shit like that. I just picked her trying her chair. hardest. Yeah, just like <laughs> trying hardest not to shit herself. I felt so bad for her. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, but we made it. There was a bathroom right next to the theater. She made it. She didn't poop her pants. But I told her that it would have been totally fine, and I still would have loved her if she pooped her pants at the theater, and I would have taken her home. Yeah, that's crazy. Your wife shits her pants at the theater. What do you do? That's a crazy scenario. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's you, yeah. Let's. <laughs> she looks to you for advice because it happens to you all the time. So like, she's like, "Honey, what do I do?" Don't worry, honey. I'm a fucking. <laughs> I'm a goddamn professional. You're gonna take that zip up hoodie. You're gonna. <laughs> You're going to take that zip-up hoodie, you're going to tie it around your waist, and you're going to hide the dookie stains. Then we're going to shuffle to the parking lot and hop in the Miata. I'm going to roll the windows down because, duh. And then we're, I'm going to get you back to the house, and I'll spray you down. Strip it. Strip, lady. I'm going to spray the dookie off your ass. Get you in the shower and spray you with the with the detachable shower head. Sorry, that was so funny to be just heard like, what do I do, Michael? You, you, yeah. You've been here I'll be before. Like, don't, psh, don't, don't worry, honey. You're married to one of the best pants shitters in, East, <laughs> in, in Austin, in South Austin, Austin, Texas. <clears throat> I do poop my pants a lot. I'm not proud of it, man. It sucks. You've been on a good streak. April, no, September 3rd, I shit my pants. <laughs> Today's date is <laughs> September 17th. I shit my pants two weeks ago. Three days into the month, man. Three days. It's good luck. No, it's not. Guys, thank you so much for watching episode 43 of Radio Ridley Radio. I'm glad we're at, I, 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 it's not a special marker or anything, but damn, 43 episodes, man. 43. We're nine episodes away from our year anniversary. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe and comment. Comment. My pod's growing. Your pod's growing. The pods are growing. Support the frog, man. Welcome to Frog Radio, the number one amphibious podcast. (laughs) Hot riffs and flies. What else do frogs do? They just be vibing for real, dude. They're yeah. so lucky. What a life. They jump high. Ooh, yeah, they get to jump high. They got them big eyes. Poison dart frogs are kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I like those. Those used to freak me out. You remember when you go to the aquarium as a kid? You go in that dark room in the, in the aquarium. Every aquarium has, like, normal animals in there, too. But you'd go in that dark room, and you'd just see those fucking poison dart frogs, like, sit in a dark room in a glass box, just chilling on a log, like, they're always doing this. They're always, you walk in there and you see the poison dart frogs and there's just like four of them on a log and they're doing this. They're like this. They're like, they're like oh yeah, if you touch this thing, you'll fucking die. They're like, my whole body's poison. My whole body's poisonous. I'll kill you. I had a bunch of these growing up. These little toys from the zoo that would come in a tube. Oh yeah, I remember those. That's the gift shop. The gift yeah. shop frogs were OP, man. Gift shop rule. The gift shop, the gift shop did rule. You remember when you'd go to the gift shop and they had that uh, the T Rex head that was like a grabber. <laughs> you just walk around, you got a T Rex head, just they had like a bunch of different ones. The shark, like a, the shark one. Yeah. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Those things used to be annoying as hell. You'd be in the car ride, you'd just be in the car ride, <laughs> on the car ride home, just. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, life was simple. You know, you know what I like about gift shops. They always got an off-brand lightsaber in that bitch. <laughs> you notice that? There's always just a. Yeah, we're at the aquarium. Yeah, we got lightsabers too. Oh, you want those shiny rocks? Yeah, I got. You can get a bag of shiny rocks for like eight bucks. Yeah, you can pick which ones too. And some fool's gold. Go put some fool's gold in there. 
Yeah, you're, you're at a natural uh, natural history museum. Go get you them shiny rocks and a T Rex head. What else is in the? Oh yeah, um, they always had umbrellas in there too. Who the fuck wants an umbrella? Zoo books guy opening up a gift shop. Yeah, it's basically yeah. Anything you can get, anything yeah. Zoo books. You thought I'd stop at Zoo books? Yeah, <laughs> that's an a, old one. I got a whole, I, I got, got a, a whole zoo gift shop. I got a whole zoo shop. She want plushies? Yeah, she want a little penguin plush. I got some plushy penguins in here. Yeah, it comes with a little look, look in between his legs. Little baby penguin. <laughs> what you know about that, Playboy? <laughs> Premium. I got the premium animal merch. I got the premium animal related merch. Oh, would you want a little, little check out these little plastic froggies? They'll do a backflip if you press on their tail. Remember those? <laughs> Man, those are sick. Also, if you give me a dollar twenty six, I can squish a penny. <laughs> give me a dollar twenty six, I'll make a penny real flat. Kids love that. Kids love a flat penny. Man. Bag of dinosaurs, 20 bucks, got you a bag of assorted plastic dinosaurs, everybody loves those. Shiny rocks, a bag of plastic dinosaurs, a shark head, an extendo shark head. A roll of plastic dinosaurs. Yeah, a roll, a roll, roll. I got got you a whole whole tube of dinos. Hell yeah. Yep. Owls. Man, that's a what a magical place, the museum gift shop. Can't forget them can't forget them pencils. They had them fucking tiger pencils. Oh, yeah, and the monkey that wraps around you with the velcro hands? Come on now, that's a certified hood classic, not the velcro monkey backpack thing. You put the monkey around your shoulders and it looks like you got a little monkey hanging off your back. Oh, yeah, those guys. Oh yeah, come on now, not the not the super rare Zumba foo. Look at the Zumba foo one, <laughs> super rare. Fuck, I'm 31 years old and I won't be able to relive any of that shit because I'm not having kids. I think that's why people have kids for real because they just want to relive that shit. They don't want to pass down their genetics. They're just trying to get a fucking second time round on that Pokemon. You're just trying to get a second lap on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> just trying to get a second lap. They're just trying to get a second lap at the Scholastic Book Fair. But like, Dad, can I have twenty dollars for the for what? For the, the Scholastic Book Fair is coming. When's it coming? I'm calling off work. I'm gonna help you buy stuff. Guinness World Records, twenty forty two. This is what you do. You started the bookmarks. Yeah, you started the bookmarks. Hey, make sure you grab three or four of them felt pencils. Yeah, you're going to sharpen them within the first week of having all four. They're going to be about this tall in about a week, all four of them. Remember that? The fuzzy pencil, because it could never stay sharp. It was such a dog shit pencil. So you just sharpen the shit out of it. Man, I had that fuzzy pencil, man. Fuck. I miss that. I miss my fuzzy pencil, man. Look what they took from us, dog. The towers were still standing. Toby Maguire was Spider-Man, and I had a fuzzy pencil and a Captain Underpants. Give me the Captain Underpants, man. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah. It was felt. It was like a red felt pencil. That was a gay kid's pencil, what you just showed me. That was a gay kid's. That was a homosexual pencil. That was a foo-foo-ass pencil. I'm talking about a red felt pencil. Like, it was a pencil, but it was like, Somebody sprayed it with glue and then they dusted it with like red fuzz, and that shit was just a fuzzy red pencil. See, dog, you can't Google this, bro. It's you can't replicate it with the internet, bro. It was just a time. You just had to be there. You can't even Google that shit. I bet you won't even be able to find that shit on Google, bro. You just had to be there. It was like a one-off thing, too. It was like right when you got to the register at the Scholastic Book Fair. You look to your left, you see that fucking, you see that cup full of red fuzzy pencils. You're like, bitch, put me down for six of those. Run me up. Fuck up a bag with those fuzzy, damn, man. Damn, my parents were still together, dog. 
I didn't even know my stepdad yet. I didn't even know what a cokehead Mexican was yet. I just had that Guinness World Records. I had that, um, you know, a bag of animals. You know, they had the plastic animals at the Scholastic Book Fair. Damn, I didn't know this was going to be another nostalgic-ass uh, Radio Ridley Radio. It's always nostalgic. It's always nostalgic. I'm always thinking of shit like that, bro. Scholastic Corporation. The Scholastic Book Fair, boy. We didn't give a fuck about them oh, damn books. Right. Ain't nobody bought books. We were there to buy toys. <laughs> it was a full-blown toy store. Your school was like, guess what? We're gonna we're gonna put a toy store in the middle of the library, but we're gonna call it a book fair so that your parents don't get mad that we're just selling you toys. Finger puppets. You remember the little finger puppets? What did it look like, Taylor? It was like a monster. Yeah, damn right it was. It was like it was like this. This is what it looked like. You put it on your finger and it had little wiggly arms. Yeah. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Hello, brothers. Trip Hello, right brothers. You oh, might you one. might be wondering why I gathered you here today because we're in detention. We're in detention for screeching in class. <laughs> I was screeching. Ah! <laughs> this is the exact one. I that's exactly like. what he looked like. Ooh, fifteen dollars. Them shits are spooky. Spooky as hell. I was looking up 90s plastic book fair pictures. I remember we would... Uh, Captain f- Underpants was huge for me. The cheat code book. Oh, yeah. But you would just write the cheat codes down for the game you wanted. Mm-hmm. But Un- once in a while, you had a friend who had one. you, Or you had one. And you let somebody borrow that bitch. And then they let somebody borrow that bitch. And then somebody else let you borrow that. And then now you don't have a cheat book no more. Or you'd get it back and there it would be made out of that soft paper. You know that soft paper? That soft tan paper in books? Mm-hmm. And the, the, the cheat books were always skinny vertical books like this. It was like a pamphlet, a thick-ass pamphlet of cheats. And a couple of pages would be all ripped out and shit. Bro. Cheat books. <clears throat> I spy. Cheat code books. Yeah, I spy. Get you an I spy book. Yeah. Those I spy, those photos they take at the I spy was crazy. Some of the most beautiful photography. What a time, dude. What a time. There we go. You can't you can't put no fucking twenty twenty four kids in there. They don't give a, I don't even know if they like shit like that no more. The world had wonder back then. I don't know. I just feel like it would need to look like an Apple store. It would need to saying. it would need to have iPads and everything. And then you order the books online and they send them to your house or some shit. Or they send them to your little Kindle. <laughs> <laughs> do do kids even play with toys? I don't even see children outside anymore. Bro, I just remember being a kid. Like I remember being like five or seven years old and just being gone for hours. Just leave the house. I've never just seen like a five year old kid unattended, you know? Different times. You could just be a kid out there. There just weren't so many damn weirdos out there, dude. It's a, this says 79% of parents still, oh, 92% still use toys with their kids. So maybe I just, maybe I'm just having boomer brain and I think the world that we grew up in is dead and I, I want to romanticize my childhood. But and then just, this thing over here says 58% of children, three to 14, play with toys. So 58%. I don't know. There's just something about toys. Like we went to the Texas Toy Museum. That's a fucking cool place. Oh, yeah. Place. We didn't talk about all that. There's so there's much a to cool, talk about. There's a cool, that's a cool fucking place, man. Mm-hmm. It's just the hoarder. <laughs> it's like it's the it's the it's a hoarder's it's hoarder porn. It's like a toy hoarder. It's like look at my collection. Come indulge. Every GI Joe ever sold in stores. Look, twenty thousand dollars in Star Wars figurines. That'll be twenty dollars. Yeah, you pay twenty bucks and you fucking 
they have like every franchise of toy. They had street sharks in there. We just kept every time we would turn a corner in the Texas Toy Museum, we'd go. We, me and Taylor would both go. Oh, dude, we did that seventeen times. <laughs> And it's not even a big place. It's like maybe three or four rooms, but we're just oh oh oh, dude oh, dude. It was sick though. Shout out to the Austin Toy Museum. You should go there. Yeah, the Texas Toy Museum in Austin, Texas. It's on Congress. It was so cool. It does kind of look like when your parents tell you to clean your room, and you're like, okay, and then you just like kind of put all your guys around. You know what I mean? It's like your your room's not really clean. They go, okay, I'm gonna come check it, and you're you like, just put your toys in like cool. Poses on top of your TV. Yeah. Didn't actually put them away. Man. <clears throat> Love me the Austin. That's where we need to go on mushrooms. Texas Toy Museum in Austin. You said what? We need to go to Texas Toy Museum on mushrooms. That oh, yeah. Fun. Go there on mushrooms. Yeah, they had a full-on DDR machine in there. Mm-hmm. I was in there getting jiggy. And then they it was funny because they played into the I Spy nostalgia. They give you a little treasure hunt. And then at the end of the treasure hunt, when you find all when you find all the fucking things on the treasure hunt list, you get a little toy out the bin. And you get a couple stickers, man. That always mm-hmm. felt good. And they were like the toys you'd find in a um in a dentist in a dentist treasure box at the end after you finished the dentist. You remember going to the dentist? Did your dentist have uh those little foam airplanes? Maybe. So, like, my dentist, you'd go there, and then you could build a... F- they had these cards. It would, like, be a card, right? You could pop out the wings and pop out the body, and then you put the wing in. And then you put, like, this plastic tip on the nose of the airplane, and it was basically just a foam paper plate airplane. And you could throw that motherfucker in that bitch would... That bitch would coast, brother. That bitch would coast. <laughs> and then they had other ones where it was, like... You get like a pack of cards, and then you'd snap all the pieces out, and you could make little biplane, plastic, airplane models. Damn, that was no, those were. I think we had the toy crate where like maybe to- where like afterwards you could go. Yeah, the toy crate after. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about the toy crate at the at the. Mm-hmm. Man, love a good dentist with a toy crate. I remember one time I had to um. I had to get some big money. I had to spend some big money at the dentist. And I was like, can I get one of the toys? Like a grown man. I, w- I walked past the treasure chest. And I was like, you know, like it was still in me. Like I was like, I want a toy. There's something in toys. Though. Give me a toy, bro. I think you should. I think you should. I take the lollipop at the bank. <laughs> hey, I'm making a deposit. Yeah, I'm here to make a deposit. Go ahead and put that in the joint check. Yeah. I'm here to make a deposit. Just a grown man sucking a lollipop, fucking eight hundred dollars in cash. Just, yeah, I'm here to make a deposit. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't I can't pass up a uh uh I can't pass up a, a bank lollipop. Them shits, are, them shits are made from different materials. I don't, I don't know what ingredients they use. Them motherfuckers are, them motherfuckers is amber. Oh yeah, that's another thing you get. That was another thing you could get at the gift shop. You could get the 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 lollipop with ants in it. Oh, I'm not eating that. You just look at it. You go, ooh, yucky. Oh yeah, those those. That's <laughs> just those are the bank ass. lollipops. You already know what the fuck I'm talking about. I literally just Googled bank lollipop. How are they? Grape and cherry were two. How how are they its own genre of lollipop? It is. The bank lollipop. It comes in that square plastic wrapper. You will never see those lollipops nowhere else in the wild, but at the desk of a bank. The teller. Right there at the teller. It'll be like Angelina Martinez. uh, Proudly serving for the last five years. And then you're like, I don't give a fuck about that. I give a fuck about the jar of lollipops right next to that. Give me that. Let me get like tree fodem. Tree fodem lollipops on the RQ. On the right quick. Damn. Bank lollipops. They always come out of the package so clean too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just tuck you you just you just uh it's like it's like a flashbang grenade. You just clear. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, them fucking lollipops were different, bro. Welcome to the bank. How can I help you? I'm here to make a deposit. <laughs> it's just fucking... <laughs> Damn. Go see that new Beetlejuice, dog. That shit was crazy. I was dying laughing. He was like... There's a scene where Beetlejuice is like... They kind of comment on, like, wokeness. And Beetlejuice is, like, not woke. <laughs> He's, like, not woke. He's like, here, I don't worry about nothing. I ain't worried about none of that. This is a safe space. <laughs> Just Uncle Laser. Yeah. Yeah, he does sound. Beetlejuice does sound like Uncle Laser, or Uncle Laser sounds like Beetlejuice. Oh, well, here's the deal. I'm a. Uh, oh, I don't care. Everything. I'm cool. You know, everything's fine. Beetlejuice is just Halloween Uncle Laser. Halloween Uncle Laser. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Spooky right. Uncle Laser. Huh? Spooky Uncle Laser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love Uncle Laser, man. Yeah. Shout out, Uncle Laser. Shout out, Unc. Shout out, shout out the Laser Man. Frogman. Doing everything that he can. He's just a frogman. He's just driving to work in that roller skate. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just smoking a cigarette in the front seat of a roller skate. Just... Just a boot with orange wheels on it. Just... <laughs> this is a playful one, man. This I don't is know. a playful fun. This is what we're talking about frog. This is man. the this is the Montessori episode, bro. I'm just the frog man, dude. Montessori. Let's just see what Google gives us when we do frog man. Right there. Down one. Directly underneath. Yeah, there you go. Hell yeah. Guys will see this and think, hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> That's so hard, bro. The Frogman G-Shock. Oh, yeah, Frogman is a type of G-Shock. It's like a top of the morning to ya. It's me, the Frogman. Could I interest you in a bank lollipop? <laughs> These are kind of hard to come by in the kingdom. Frogman from Oz. Oh, he's a Wizard of Oz character. This is how the Frogman smokes his pipe. He'd be like this. He'd go. I've hunted his backstory. Frogman is a man-sized frog <laughs> <laughs> who acts as a major authority and political figure and is considered their wisest resident, despite not actually being that smart. I'm the Frogman. <laughs> Same. <laughs> despite not actually being that smart. <laughs> it's crazy. Sapience and intelligence, however... Unlike the professor, Frogman is less interested in knowledge and more interested in the latest dandy fashion and acting like a superior gentleman. Damn right. Oh, the history. Frogman was original was an ordinary animal in Oz until he was abducted by a bird and dropped into the pond in the Yip country, which possessed a unique magical skosh plant, which made him grow to human size and gain sapient intelligence. The Yips then revered the mysterious frogman as an individual of great wisdom and made him an advisor and authority figure in their country. <laughs> frog guy shows up and they're like, yo, you run gotta run this. Yeah, run everything. Yeah, frogman shows up and they're like, dude, just be the mayor. <laughs> will you fuck my wife? Yeah, frogman, will you fucking rib it? <laughs> just rib it on my shorty? Damn it. I'm high as hell, boy. I got the. I got that. Dude, look how much. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while since we've been to. Uh, Oregon. It's been, yeah, it's been a while since we've been in Oregon. But look how much. I made that. I made that. I made that syrup last, dude. Look how much syrup is left. Shout out Dirty Arm Farm and Natural Wonders. Yeah, shout out Dirty Arm Farm and Natty Wonders in Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon, man. Shh. Might fuck around and take a swig on the pod. Do it. You won't. I'm going to have to. 
That's why I'm so chill this episode. I actually had some of this last night. That's the crazy thing about edibles is you take them and uh, you will be high the next day. Explain to people what that is again. I might need just a kiss of that at some point. I'm going to give you some. It's a concentrated THC tincture syrup. It's 1,000 milligrams in that bottle. I probably got about 300, maybe 300 left. <sighs> Fast acting. I'll tell you that. Dude, this shit, this shit will have you, that shit will have you stoned for like 14 hours, dude. It's, it's crazy. Because there's no digestion. You're just drinking a liquid. It's like getting drunk. It's like getting high, but you're you're drinking. It's like moonshine. It is like the moonshine of weed. I would, if I would, <laughs> brother, the Patreon episode's gonna be crazy. I'm just gonna be fucking. We're gonna talk about P Diddy. Oh yeah, P Diddy. He got indicted. He got arrested. Yeah. He got arrested. No, he's in court right now. Wait, he got no. arrested in Manhattan. You got arrested in Manhattan. They freeze, did he? I think so. I think they arrested him. Freeze, did they did arrest him? Yeah. Crazy. Being too freaky. Freeze. Freaky, freaky ass, did he? Man, that adds like a whole nother layer to making the band too. <laughs> you gonna suck my penis, or I'm shutting down the studio? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. MTV. MTV's freaking the Diddy. Chappelle tried to tell us that D Diddy was crazy. I oh, just farted on camera. I think. <laughs> you think? I think I did. It might have been. A, that might have been. That might have been a digital fart. Man, that fart was digital. Sorry, my stomach hurts. That's another thing about that. <laughs> that THC syrup. That should be making your stomach go crazy, dog. It was literally seconds after you drank it. <laughs> it goes right through you, man. You do have the best mouth farts in Austin, in Austin comedy. I have the best mouth farts. I think we should record our internet. own fart board with your mouth. Welcome to Radio Ridley Radio. Thank God this is the free part. <laughs> imagine if you paid, you just get fart noises. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine paying five dollars a month, and you just have me going. Oh yeah. This is a frog beat. I feel like I feel like we should do a freestyle on the Patreon, maybe. Oh, like maybe a, we'll do a freestyle. You could do a frogman freestyle on the Patreon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Frogman. We'll man. find a beat. Frogman oh, yeah. freestyle. On the Type Patreon. in frog beat on YouTube. We'll 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 look we'll look at him on Patreon. We got it. Frog we beat on YouTube. Come over and watch the Frogman. Come on freestyle. over to the Patreon. Come on over to the Patreon. The Patreon. I don't know, man. I'm just grateful as fuck, man. Life's good. Trying to find the riff, boys. I'm sorry. You've kind of been. You don't apologize to them. You, you've, uh, you've. I'm you've, sorry. Uh, you've, uh, you've kind of been on the gratitude thing recently. Yeah, I've been just riffing on gratitude. I'm just. Everything's chill. Everything's good. <laughs> Flying back to Virginia. Gonna be with David Jolly. This episode will come out, and I've already done the show. Yeah, me and Jolly going to Virginia and shit. America's favorite uncle, David Jolly. Shout out David for taking a young, young, for taking a young frog out. Taking a frog back to the hometown. <laughs> just a little frog on the big stage, you know? I've just been a little frog for most of my life, man. You know, because I just, you know, I just ponder. I just I sometimes I sit at the house and I ponder for hours on end. I'll just be at the crib just <laughs> I lay awake at night. I lay awake late at night on a lily pad with my hands behind my head just looking at the ceiling. I see a shooting star. I, I wish. I make a wish. <laughs> I make a shooting I see a shooting star. I make a wish. I think to myself, I go. Get me out of this bog. I'm just trying to get out of the bog, you know. 
I want to go to where the people are. I want to wear the fancy clothes. Pretend to be I'm smarter than I actually am. You know, I just want to be, I want to be a leader. I want to be the voice of a generation. But frog, man. <laughs> this is so retarded. <laughs> It's so retarded. I love it though. I love it. I, I don't know. I've always loved frogs, man. <laughs> I was always. I remember one time Chelsea caught a frog and she just had this big smile on her face. And I was like, yeah, get you a white bitch that knows how to catch a frog, dude. <laughs> she was just like, she was just like this. She was like, Michael. That's why anytime somebody catches a frog, that's how they look when they catch. You know, when somebody catches a frog, they'll just be like, <laughs> They're always like, look, look, I caught a frog. And then the frog's like. <laughs> Somebody goes, kiss it. Kiss it. <laughs> you, somebody always catches the frog, and the frog does this. The frog goes. <laughs> Legs going crazy, but his head's just locked in that palm. Like, bro, please let me go. I never got a wart. You ever got a wart from a frog? People say you always get warts from frogs. They'll pee on you, and then you'll get a wart. And I'm like, I've never gotten a wart on my hand. Brother, ew. Brother, ew. Apparently, like, if a frog pees on your hand, you'll get a nasty wart. You want to watch videos for five minutes? Four minutes? What kind of videos do you want to watch? I don't know. Is there anything in the folder that we haven't looked at? I don't know. Maybe there is something funny in the folder. Let's watch a funny video. I'm like trying to learn how to pace myself, man. This recording the two hours is crazy. Uh. It's we're in a different yeah. It's on the personal yeah. Personal Joan Creed. What else did you do this week? What this past week? I left the house last Friday. And got three spots. I had one spot. I left the house. I ended up getting three spots, man. Nice. Yeah, I opened up Rose Battle last Friday at Creek in the Cave. That shit was excellent. Oof. Had that new Dale Earnhardt shirt on. I got me a new Dale Earnhardt t-shirt. Big old three on it. With the race car on there. Ooh. Should make me feel powerful. Something like some Dale, some Dale, some Dale Senior merch always makes me feel more powerful. Always makes me feel feel more confident. I think you are Dale. <laughs> oh, dude, the Miata's coming together, boys. Oh, yeah, tell them about the Miata. Oh, the Miata's coming we'll together. We'll wrap on the Miata and we'll watch videos. Big plans the for the car, man. I done got me some... Dude, I done spent a goddamn... I've already spent $2,700 on the motherfucker, dude. Wheels, coilovers, 2200 Some new headlights, some new taillights on the way. That's going to really clean the car up. New clutch, master and slave. That's gonna make the clutch feel a lot more. Fix the hydraulic system in the clutch. Oh, oh dude, so excited! I bought these wheels in Japan, man. I've been DMing these guys for years. I always, I, I'm surprised they sold them to me because I've been stringing them along for so long. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to buy the wheels. They'll be like, all right, cool, just let us know. And then I'll just ghost them. All right, I'm ready to buy the wheels. Oh, okay, yeah, they're in stock now, so just let us know. Ghost them. Then I fucking, I emailed them, I messaged their fucking, the, the, their eBay store, I DM'd them on Instagram, I finally fucking got through to them, I just sent them over the PayPal. So we're about to have wheels and coilovers on the motherfucking Miata. It does, it, needs, it just needs better suspension. Car runs so good. Ain't nothing like, yo, I drove downtown. I drove downtown with the top down at night, and I just saw the city skyline, and, and the air was all nice and cool. It wasn't too hot. I was like, dude, this fucking rips. Mm. I gave Nick V a ride home in it one time that same night, and he was like, yo, this is actually amazing. And I was like, I know, right? 
people always make fun of the Miata until they take a ride in one with me, and then they're like, and then I, I'm I'm in the driver's seat, and I go, you get it? <laughs> Isn't this great? Like this is how I go places. Like this is how this is my form of transportation. A little convertible. It is fun. It cures depression. It literally cures depression, bro. I don't need no Prozac. I just need 20 minutes and nowhere to go. And 100 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour and nowhere to go. It's me in the open road, frog man, <laughs> in a roller skate. Guys, I know this is like kind of more of a chill one, but I'm also high as fuck. We're having fun, dude. Dude, I'm zooted right now. I think I might rip another 10 minutes for the freebie, Joel, for the freebie. I'll give you guys another 10 minutes and we'll wrap. Damn, dude. She, bro. Hey, do you know, some days you wake up, you look in the mirror, you realize, oh, fuck, I'm a frog, man. <laughs> I like to ribby. You know, I see a fly. <laughs> Comida. I like to eat it. I'm a frog man. You understand? Here I am, a little man, sitting on a lily pad. Always happy, never mad, never sad. I'm glad because I live in a lake. I live in a pond. I'm a frog man, and I got it going on. Pondering, smoking my pipe. I live in a mushroom. I sleep there every night. Senior frog. The door is made out of wood. Everything is how it should be. <laughs> Living free with my frog life. Living my frog life with my frog wife. Having a frog night. Chilling hard like a bump on a log. Damn right it feels good to be a frog. <laughs> I'm just a little man with froggy eyes and froggy hands. I stick to shit. I climb on walls. Look at my little green froggy balls. <laughs> I'm writing a children's book, man. Yeah, I'm writing a children's book right now. Is that a Mexican frog guy? El Frogman. El Frogman. Written by Michael Ridley. Read by Michael Ridley. Only on Audible. <laughs> Only on Audible. El Frogman. Written and read aloud. By Michael Ridley. Written, riveted, and read. Written, riveted, and read by Michael Ridley. I'm a little frog man, don't you understand? I have feet that look like my hands. I'm green and sometimes I'm see-through. Look at the <laughs> look at the flies in my belly, dude. I got flies in my belly, dude. I'm a mean little frog with some attitude. <laughs> Damn, dude! I don't know why I'm like you get like a you get like a Latin <clears throat> child's book author's award for it. Yeah, they yeah, think yeah. that you're they think you're Latin. they think they think I'm Mexican. <laughs> I'm just a high Asian dude that looks like a frog. Gula gula. Can I get a? Mm mm mm. Dabinol. This episode was brought to you by Dabinol. I don't even know if you're allowed to show weed on YouTube. They don't know. It's nano-sized cabinoids, extremely bioavailable, not from 4U, Entourage Effect AF. I don't know what that means. What does that mean, Taylor? What is the Entourage Effect? Can you Google that? A single source from fresh frozen cannabis. Cannabis. Cannabinous. It's mango-flavored. I know that. Ingredients, pure cane sugar, natural flavor, citric acid. Live rosin concentrate, sodium benzoate, and artificial flavors. Oh, colors. Oh, it's, it's let all the cannabinoids work together. Entourage effect. Oh, so it's like a whole microcosm. Read that. To know. The theory that the whole plant is greater than its parts. Hell yeah. Referred to as the entourage effect. The theory proposes that various compounds found in marijuana work together to create distinctive and effective benefits. It always It always perks me up. It always makes my mood better, makes me happier, makes me feel more free. I'm a, uh, I'm a strong believer in this, in this shit. I need it. I remember I was getting cranky. I was getting cranky. I was like on edge, like snippy, 
kind of irrit- irritable. Yelling about cyber trucks. Yelling about the cyber truck. But yeah. Thanks for sticking with me on this one, guys. I know it was very uh, nostalgic. We, I just, you know. I just, I went to the bank. I went to the bank today. They didn't have the lollipops, man. That shit just kind of, it did something to me. It did something to me. It made, it made me, it made me angry. It made me want to, it made me want to do bad things. They didn't have the lollipop at the bank. It made me, <laughs> it made me think bad things. <laughs> the guy's life is just, he's one lo- he's one bank lollipop away from just fucking setting something on fires. This world we grew up in doesn't exist anymore. I went to the bank today and they didn't even. from high school are gonna pay yeah one missed shipment of lollipops guys thank you so much for watching this episode of Radio Ridley Radio I'm fucking high as fuck (laughs) I hope you had fun you can head on over to the Patreon and see more we're gonna talk about Diddy and I think I'm gonna do a freestyle oh yeah the Frogman freestyle Frogman freestyle on the Patreon well I gave you the Frogman children's book yeah I think that was a fire. That was a good riff. Yeah. That was a good riff. <clears throat> Frogman is very funny. You kind of blacked out there for a minute and it just kind of started pouring out of you. Yeah, I had to load it. Yeah. I had to like. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just in my brain. AI generating the riff in my brain. Just There's seven keyboards. I'm just in a ball with seven keyboards and like eight screens. <laughs> it's a frog in your there's brain. There's like a knob. Yeah, there's like knobs and shit. Yeah, he's like whoosh, pressing buttons with his tongue and shit. <laughs> I'm in. All right. Like and subscribe. Join Patreon. We love you guys. Bye.